y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Sassy said is in my kitchen today, and I'm so thankful because I do love her, but I do need to teach her just a few tricks of the trade. Sid, to see the tricks of the trade, you're gonna have to be in bird's eye. Okay. I know that you love guacamole. Mm -hmm. Do you like salsa? Yes. Like just plain salsa? Yes. Okay. You and your friends hang out a lot this time of year, pool, beach, whatever. This is a great snack to know how to prepare. We're gonna use strawberries. We're gonna put a little bit of strawberry into a regular salsa recipe, okay? The recipe is in Granny's Farm to Table. Do you own one of these? She does. Okay, it's page 14. It's my recipe, but we're gonna just kind of build from there, okay? <clears throat> All right, first off, strawberries. No, you know what? I'll do tomatoes first. Let's do a couple of Roma tomatoes. Am I slicing them? You know well, you said that I was going to cut myself earlier, so. Oh, true that. I don't have enough insurance to cover you if you cut yourself. Yeah, I really don't. It's a true statement. All right, I'm just going to cut the ends off of these because I don't want any of those, you know, that in the salsa. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to eat that from a farmer's perspective, but it ain't pretty. And we want pretty, but we want tasty, right? Right. <laughs> well, if you're gonna serve this to your friends at poolside in graduate school, I'm just saying, Sid. Okay, so look, I keep my uh, peelings on. You don't have to, but, but just so you know. I like mine. And these are Roma tomatoes. I like to use these because they hold their integrity a little better than any their other tomato. Integrity? Uh, sorry, consistency. <laughs> they don't get as uh, watery. Integrity. You know what that word means. That's why I was confused. Oh, because you didn't think I knew what it meant. No, I just didn't know how a tomato could have integrity. She didn't think I knew what integrity That's meant. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it was. No, I only said. You know, the boys gave me this knife for, for uh, Mother's Day, and I love it. Drew told me that I Aren't love it. Aren't they so sweet? Sweet as They are so sweet. Can't hardly stand it. All right, I'm going to just do this, and I'm going to cut up a couple of these. This knife is so sharp that it won't even... There we go. It's trying to, like, bite that board. Okay. Wouldn't it be terrible if I cut my finger and I, like, warned you about it? You know where my insurance card is, right? I just put it in there. Okay. You know where the hospital is? I have a GPS. Okay. It's Wesley Long. That's where I want to go, okay? <clears throat> okay. Wow. That's where I was born. Oh, good. You can remember that. You won't have to watch the film. Oh, you back. think that I know when I was going from the hospital home that I know exactly how to get there? I'm just saying you said it out loud. It's easier to remember it until if you're teaching yourself something. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how you cut these, honey, okay? You can cut them big. You can cut them small. It depends on how you like your salsa, okay? Are you with me? Yes. Well, then you're supposed to say okay or mm-hmm. 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 Go eat some guacamole. Do I have to keep standing here? No, okay. eat your guacamole. I hate standing up. You better pay attention though, because you're going to want to produce. You're going to want. You are going to want to reproduce this. Romas. <laughs> I know she acts like my daughter. She's not. She's my cousin. But I claim her as a daughter most days. Okay. Most days. Well, your mom and daddy wouldn't like that. I think they'd want you back at some point. Mm -hmm. No, your sister might not. Anyway, how many Romas did we have, Sid? You know? Five. Five. Well, we got five because they were small. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know the difference between Yeah. Them. And I appreciate your grocery shopping for me today, Sid. I took my mom. Did you do a video? I sent you a video of me oh, I haven't seen in my driveway. I, yes, I did. I sent it to you, and you were like, make a video. I haven't read. I haven't watched the video. I literally sent it to you before I even got to your store. It's on my phone somewhere? Yeah, I sent it to you. Cool. Okay, five tomatoes, Romas. <laughs> we get a little bit sideways around here. All right, you know what? Let me get this out of the way. So I can have some stuff. 
place to work. All right, sis, I'm going to do all five of these because I think you're going to love this enough that I'm going to send some home with you, maybe in a mason jar. I don't think I'm going to like it. Well, I know your mom and dad will, and probably EP, because you're the pickiest of their bunch, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Spencer. I ate shrimp last night. You did? Uh -huh. Oh, my Lord. Did you write it down? No. Did you record it? No. Should have. Never seen any shrimp. Kind of tastes like chicken. I think I said that to you. I think Last every summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing, good. Amazing how those things come to fruition, ain't it? Mm. Okay. So we're going to do five of these. We're going to add a little bit of salt. If your hands are clean, you want to toss just like a, just do a little. A dub dub? Well, you can see that better. That's the Paula Dean thing. Um, that I love, but I can't read it because I need readers on. What's a yeast spoon? A what? Look, look on the oh, other side. Oh, it says dash. Dash. Okay, let's do two dashes. Of a pinch or a smidges? A smidgen. Smidgen. Yeah. You want two dashes? Two, do two dashes since we're doing this much. Because since you're so sassy all the time. I think I'm not. You are. And this is a sassy recipe right here. Savory and sassy. It's got a little bit of sweet like you and a lot of savory, AKA sassy, like you. People say we're alike, so. It's a little scary, ain't it? <laughs> look, this is what you've got to look forward to. I know it's scary. Okay, we have some salt. Let me get my hands just a little rinse. Get my tomato off. Now, Sid, I know you're not crazy about onions. I'm gonna use green onions in this. Actually, an onion. Are you paying attention? Because yes. I wanna show you how easy this is. I put them in uh, cold ice water so that they would perk back up or stay perky. You know what I mean? Like, you know how they get soggy if you leave them in the fridge? Sure. Yeah. So I'm just gonna cut some of the green part. That's an onion? Mm-hmm. It's a spring onion and it's, not real strong, like a a, a, a real, white onion. Yeah, like a real bold white onion. We just want a little bit for you. And then, if you like it, great. If you don't, we can add some stuff to it. But I'm going to add some cilantro. I love cilantro. But again, if viewers, if you want to repeat this recipe and your people don't like it, don't use it. Do you know if you like cilantro? Um, I think I do. At a Mexican restaurant, do you order their regular salsa? Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's cilantro. Good, yeah. yeah. Now you can choose whether you want to chop this real big or if you want to chop it small. I'm going to do mine small and I'll tell you why. I like to have a little hint of this in every bite. Sid, can you smell that? Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, a lot of people say it smells like soap to them. Does it smell like soap to you? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now, if you'll hand me that mortar and pestle, teach you a little trick for your sieve, trick of the track. All right, into that, the chopped cilantro is gonna go. But since this is something we might serve to your friends, or my friends, poolside or otherwise, I want it to be really good and really pretty. Now, Okay, got some tomato on there. Okay, now, I'm gonna just put it in this mortar and press, and I'm gonna press down on it because it releases the flavor of the leaves, but it doesn't break up their integrity up. There's that word again. So I'm gonna release the flavor of them, and then I'm gonna dump them in there. Easy, right? Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> you don't have to do that part. Okay, that's a little bit fancy. A little? Well, we don't do fancy very often in our family, but you know, once in a while, it's kind of nice. A little additive, but I also put that in cold water as well after I washed it. All right, I'm gonna put a dub dub of apple cider vinegar. Dub dub. A dub that's dub. That's a big dub dub. Okay, maybe it's two dubs. Um, if you will grab me, Sid, a um, any kind of spoon. Uh, there's some uh, wooden ones back here, probably. And I'm going to add to mine some strawberries and one jalapeno. 
Because you don't like feet, right? Or do you? Kind of. I don't, what do you mean? A spoon? Oh, a wooden spoon would be great. Where is a wooden spoon? Oh, sorry, honey. In that long drawer. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Sip. We wash the strawberries. I'm literally just going to cut them up like I want to. Okay? Like this? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You can dice them. You can slice them. You can do it however you want to do it. Okay? This looks so summery. It really does. Take a smell of it when I get these strawberries in there, seriously. It smells like... You know how I am. I like everything separate, and this is all together. Yeah, but so is your guacamole. But well, I like that, though. I know, but I think you're going <laughs> to like this. And actually, if you make this ahead of time and refrigerate it, and then take it where you're going later, it all marries up really well, seriously. Mary, it, mm -hmm, you're using so much language. Listen, it just like we you know blends. What is that? I'm gonna add a dub dub of hemp honey oil. You don't have to have the hemp in it. I'm just adding some sweet to it, okay? Just a bit. Are you getting confused? A little. I mean, my recipe has two things. This has 50. Yeah, but look how impressed your friends are going to be when you make this. And you go, oh, well, out of this and this and this and this and this and this. And really, if you do different sizes, in my opinion, you want, you know, a little bit on each chip when your friends eat it or your family or whomever. But if you make pita chips, like make your own, you can have them big like, you know, the... Um, like a sandwich. No, what are the ones called? Some Stacy's or something? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Some of them have sugar on them, some of them have salt. Yeah. Yeah, so if you pick that up at the grocery store, you're good to go. Does this get liquidy? It, not a lot. Go ahead and give it a stir. Oh, so it's like chunky. Yeah. Sauce. I don't like chunky sauce. Okay, well, if you don't like it, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings. I promise you that. At least I'm honest. Well, we don't get our feelings hurt in our family because if we did, They'd stay hurt about half the time. Okay. okay, look, I'm gonna take the seeds out of this. You wanna know a funny story? Yeah. Tell we me. were over at Sarah's house and I never tried a jalapeno. She's like, oh, they're not hot. And I took a really big bite of one. It was not good. Was it a raw one? Like this? Like one out of Pop's garden. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're real uh, strong With right out of the garden. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you'll take the seeds out. But have you had a popper? <clears throat> you didn't like that. Mm -hmm. Well, See, I didn't try it, but I don't like how it looks. But I've seen your dad or your mom make them. Yeah, mom makes them. I love them. Okay, look, I'm just going to do a little bit of this then, okay? Because I can add some later. Well, no, so, who are we wanting it? Well, I want you to like it. You, I don't even know. I like proving your mom. Well, I don't even know if I'm going to try it. You are trying it. You're over the age of I'm not going to try it. That's not an option. It's just not. Why well, get Spencer in here and try it? I can't decide if my finger just kind of split from being so dry or if that's tomato. I think it might be a split. Would Spencer try this? No. Are exactly. you kidding? He's older than me. But if you try it, he might try it. No pressure. <laughs> I don't feel pressure because I'm not trying. Come on. Be, be a big girl. Put your big girl panties on. Okay, look. I'm going to just put a little bit of this, and then we'll leave the rest I of it. I like jalapeno. I mean, I like the taste of it. Let's try it just a little bit, okay? But i got to wash my hands quickly because... Did you cut yourself? I did a little bit, but it's on the top. I'm vaccinated. We're family. Just saying. Don't worry. All right, so let me recap. Uh, we did a little bit of salt. We did uh, strawberries to your taste. We did five... Romas. Yes. We did some cilantro. Mm -hmm. We did some jalapeno. We did some green onion. And we did a splash or a dub dub of apple cider vinegar. Okay? Alright, where's your chips? Oh, girl, there they are right there. Okay, taste of summer here. Taste of summer. I'll eat my guacamole. Wait a minute. I'll cheers to my Wait a minute. Wait. We gotta make it real fruit fruit because all the boys are gone. Get your, get your water. Be honest. I don't want your head. Try it. You're gonna like it. And if I don't? I'm sweating. Try it. Okay. Terrible weather. 
Go down to the bottom where the juice is, seriously. I just don't think... So. Just try it. Okay. You can be honest. Can I just get like something? Yes. Yes. Be honest, ma'am. No. That's not something you would eat. <laughs> Bye. I don't like tomatoes like that. You ate tomatoes in the guacamole. I know, but I only added like a little tiny bit. Cheers to Somerset. <laughs> Sorry. It's delicious, though. I am just picking it. I don't like it. I love it. A lot of people will love it. The viewers will love it. It seems very... We're going to have to rename it, though, if you don't like it. In a couple of years, I might like it. Non-sassy <laughs> sin. <laughs> Strawberry salsa. Let me show you a picture of it. It's really pretty. And... What I'm going to do with mine is this. Give me that thing right there, baby. Take that bit off. Even if you don't like it, if you served it like this at your next little college soiree or whatever y'all call that these days, <laughs> look how impressive this is. That okay. is really cute. Okay. Put your little lid on. I think this this is not... <laughs> Okay, we'll just do like it. Didn't break. It just, didn't break. It didn't break. We'll have to wash it. <laughs> but look, Sid, I want to show it, show it to you. It didn't break. It's a strong thing. Look. I don't know where I got it, doll. I don't know. Somebody gave it to me. I don't know. But look, in different color balls, look how pretty it is. And if I was going to take this to someone else, hold that for me, back. If I was going to take this to someone else, this is a clean, quart size jar. Look how pretty it looks in this. There's little, oh, there it is. You know, like if you wanted to take it somewhere and they are, we're going to have a bowl there and you wanted to seal it up so it doesn't spill in your car kind of thing. I'm going to just give you a visual. All right, hold that up to the camera. I just want the viewers to see that. That's pretty. You can put a little bow on it, put your little tag on it, put your little lid on it. And you got strawberry salsa. Anyway, give it a try. Happy summer. Oh, bye. <laughs> that means cut it off.